Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going <clears> to <throat> show you guys how to do a little upgrade to your CZ75B uh, full-size uh, semi-automatic pistol. Um, this is a CZ75B in, in matte finished stainless steel. These are the stock grips that come with it. And this is pretty much how you would get a gun if you were to purchase it brand new. I picked up this gun a couple of weeks ago and I've been to the range several times and it's it's been a very nice uh, nice shooting pistol. It's very accurate, very easy to shoot. <clears throat> um, I'm, I've been quite pleased with it. So <clears throat> what I want to do with it today is I want to change these stock grips. They're very nice, nice grips. They're rubber. Um, they're very functional. But I just wanted to give this uh, gun just a slightly different look. Um, so I picked up these um, Coco Bolo grips. These are available from the CZ Custom Shop. Uh, you can see they're, uh, these are the ones that are checkered uh, halfway. Uh, CZ also offers grips that are checkered all the way up the, up the grip. So we're going to put those on. The other thing that I ordered is a slightly softer uh, hammer spring. Uh, this is a 13 pound spring and the one that comes in the gun is an 18 pound spring. And what this is going to do is it's going to lighten up the trigger pull in both double action and single action modes. So let's just get started. Um, you don't have to take the slide off for this, um, but we're going to anyway. Uh, one trick that, that, that I like to, to do is just cock the hammer. Well, first let's do a safety check. There's no, um, no magazine in this gun. And... Um, Nothing in the chamber, um, so this gun is safe to handle. Um, if you cock the hammer to its half cocked position, um, you can see the two two slots here, uh, one on the slide and one on the frame. You just line those up, and that just pops out. Slide the frame forward, and you're all set. So we'll just set that off to the side. Okay, um, to take the grips off, it just takes a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, we'll just take one off, set that aside, and do the other side. Now here's the, the hammer spring. It resides here in the back of the back of the grip. Now this spring here, this flat spring here, that actually keeps this um, this button here from flying out when you take the pin out. So to remove that pin you just simply hold it down and just take the tip of a screwdriver and just push it partly out. See it comes out like that. And grab a pair of needle nose pliers and just pull it all the way out and just hang on to it. Okay, and you see that doesn't go flying. Now just push it down, pull the spring back like that, and this whole thing can come out. Okay, to install the new spring, just reverse the procedure, just take the new spring down here and make sure you take this flat spot and you line it up with this uh, re retaining spring and again just be careful push it down halfway and slip this underneath and once that's in the groove it'll keep that from popping out and it'll also line this up so you want to press down with your thumb again and just line up the pin okay it's halfway in there. Take the tip of the screwdriver, just push it down a little more, and all the way inside. Very simple. Okay. And it's hard to show here um, on video, but this pull is now significantly lighter than it used to be. So now to put the grips on. Um, the grips actually came with a little little Allen wrench because these are Allen head screws instead of Phillips. So just line those up.
you don't want to over tighten these, just a little snug. Okay, because they have a, a lock washer on them. And then the other side. Snug it up. Okay. Now to put the slide back, just slide it back on, and again, just half cock, and that'll automatically line up your slots. And you can put the retaining pin in there, like that, and you're good to go. Okay. And there you have it. CZ75B with now with uh, Coco Bolo grips and a lighter hammer spring. Thanks for watching.